Now, your storm track weather with Chief Meteorologist Matt Miller. Good evening. A partly cloudy sky across most of the area right now. We are going to keep an eye on the isolated thunderstorms over the southern counties. Once those move on out, things will quiet down and the rest of the night should be partly cloudy. Temperatures tomorrow warming back up into the upper I'll say the upper 70s and low 80s are really going to depend on the timing of the thunderstorms moving into the area and more thunderstorms around on Wednesday. We'll follow that up with a chance for a little bit higher humidity moving in as we head in toward the early part of next week. So all in all, things are looking uh, definitely on the uh, unsettled side through the middle of the week and summary toward the tail end of the week. Head to the south and east. That's where all the scattered thunderstorms are right now along Interstate 35, moving through Franklin into Anderson counties and down into Coffee County as well. Those areas of storms are still capable of producing some gustier winds as they approach Burlington. A little bit of lightning, locally heavy rain. Those will slide onto the south. You can see the clouds. Pretty much absent overhead at Manhattan. You can see the storm clouds, though, scattered in and around the Emporia area. Not actually storming in Lyon County, though, at this time. And the thunderstorms developed off to the south. You can see it in the distance there from Mayetta. And a mostly sunny sky, though, prevailing at Topeka, where the temperature is 84 degrees. The good news is the dew point is not high. 59 is a comfortable level of humidity with a light northeast wind, so no issue with the heat index today. Today's high, 84. Average high 85, so pretty close to the averages for today, both on the high and the low end. And across the region, coolest air to the north and west up toward Wyoming, northwestern Kansas, and to the south and east where there's been more rain over areas of Missouri and on into Illinois. But Central Plains continues to remain on the warm side, as warm as 87 at Manhattan, 85 for Junction City and Clay Center, and even 88 degrees right now at Concordia. But it is drier to the northwest. Dew points are in the 50s and some low 60s, so not really a heat index issue over the northwestern counties. Where it's storming, we do have a little higher humidity in place to the south and east, but that drier air should prevail with the wind coming in out of the east and northeast through the night. There again, the look at those scattered thunderstorms, Franklin, Anderson, parts of Osage, and a good portion of Coffee County right now may clip southeastern Lyon County as these storms are actually moving south and a little bit westward as well. Those will exit out of the viewing area. Another system pushing away to the east and one more moving across Nebraska. None of those immediately moving in. So it's kind of a waiting game as we head through the night. Pretty quiet tomorrow. Afternoon, primarily, a scattering of thunderstorms develops. Some of these could be strong to severe. That'll move on through, and additional thunderstorms are expected as we head into the late part of the day on Wednesday. We do have a slight risk out for a large part of the area, shaded in yellow for tomorrow. Hail and wind, the main threats for severe weather potential on your Tuesday. High temperatures tomorrow will climb back up into the 80s, but tonight we fall into the 60s. A comfortable night with that partly cloudy sky and fairly dry air, low to mid 60s by the early morning hours tomorrow. And with that dry air still in place, we'll top out at 81. But as a little bit of humidity returns, we'll also throw in the chance for a scattering of thunderstorms during the course of the day tomorrow on into early Wednesday and then Looking at another chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms as we head into Thursday, mostly sunny, 87 degrees for your high on Friday, and then a chance for some scattered thunderstorms late Friday into Saturday. Uh, look at one of the photos we got in from the scattered thunderstorms that were sent in earlier. This one was from Alex Zerby at Quinimo. Those storms are now pushed off to the south. We do expect to see a few more storms around the area tomorrow. Brooke?